All right, hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of these bicycle bags to put on your frame. These are from the brand Almost There, which I thought was said Almost Dre or something like that, but it's short for Almost There. I just bought them because I'm trying to figure out what to put on my bike, so I'm going to walk you through each one. First, the frame bag. This one's for just putting it on the front of your bike, but inside of the triangle part of your bicycle. This one's on top for the top tube. And then uh, this one over here, this one's for like a handlebar situation. So I'm going to try them out on my bike and tell you a little bit about why I'm even doing this while I go along. All right, so here's my bike. And as you can see, there's this kind of goofy looking bag on the front. Let me get down. There's this goofy looking bag on the front. And originally, this was supposed to go on the back, right, under the seat. However, let me pull you in closer. You'll notice that... Right now, I have this little GoPro mount on the back because I like to pull my kids in the trailer and film them sometimes. So ideally, this would just go like right there. But with that GoPro mount, it kind of pokes out and it's a little bit odd. So, And also when it's on, you cannot have both the GoPro and the bag. So this was just a bag from Amazon. It's pretty nice still. I mean, it's really compact and small, which I don't need that many tools. So I just need something kind of lightweight. Um, but yeah, basically I'm just trying to figure out where on my bike to put some, like a bag for some tools and things just on the norm, just like day to day. So that's why I got these awesome bags from almost there. So yeah, let's go over this one. First of all, you got the compact frame bag. Basically where that's going to go is right there in the frame. And it has straps on top as well as one on the front to keep it stabilized. I might not go with this one just because it's kind of big. I don't know. It's not that big. I mean, you can fit your water bottle pretty easily. I guess just from my preference, really, I just want to keep it, my frame, just kind of nice and open. But anyways, then we got the top tube bag right here. So it has, like, little holes that are covered up right now. But you can use these to mount them onto your frame if you have those mounts. I don't have any. So this would kind of just go, I guess, like this. And you would just strap it to the fork right there, to the top tube, I guess, or uh, the stem, I mean, and just kind of ride along with it. So if you're riding, it'd be like this, kind of point of view. And then the final one, which I'm pretty much going to go with, I think, but it's just like a small, they have a bigger size of this, but this one is like, uh, like seven inches by like three inches across. It's not that big, which I kind of like because I don't really need a ton of storage space, but essentially I either might tuck it underneath this or just push it onto the front of the bars, but I'll try them each out and strap them on and show you guys what they look like. All right, and by the way, this video is not sponsored at all. I'm just doing this because I was kind of interested in the brand. The bags are actually really nice. Like they're pretty hard shell. They feel pretty quality and like that's kind of nice, I guess. It's just they're nice quality and they also come in a ton of different colors. So you can check out their website. I bought these through Backcountry for a pretty good deal. And uh, there's like a bunch of different colors, which I thought was kind of fun as well. So, I mean, that's bag number one, the compact frame bag. So, I mean, yeah, it's just pretty simple. You just strap it on there and back it up to give you kind of a overall view of it. And uh, yeah, I mean, it look, looks pretty secure. Like, I didn't tie it on super, super tight because I'm just about to take it off and show you guys the other ones. But essentially, it has this one pocket on this side, and there's a divider in between. So on the other side, you also get a pocket. I should pull that off. There, sorry. And there's another stuff storage space. So you got two storage spaces, plus it has these little loops in here. So you can attach, like, I don't know, lights or tools or whatever. And uh, inside, there's like some dividers too. You got these little pocket protectors or whatever. So yeah, I mean, it's got some plenty of storage space. So here's like basically my multi-tool that I'll be using. I mean, that's gonna fit. That's gonna fit easily. Okay. And then let's try also really quick the phone test. Oh wait, I'm using my phone. Um, sorry guys, I don't have my. <laughs> I'm using my phone to film this. But essentially, this is an Altoids can, okay? It's not going to be this small, obviously. But this fits, like, with plenty of room, okay? You can scoot it up front to the front there. 
you can take it on back. There's like ample room there. There's even room up top. So basically, I have an iPhone 10, and I will put that in there and maybe film it and show you guys what that looks like because I'm pretty sure it fits. Okay, yeah, I just started with this one. It fits in there. Um, and yeah, so that's the compact frame bag. Let's take a look at that. Nice. And then next up, guys, we got the top tube bag here. So this is basically just meant to sit on the top here of your bike. It's got two Velcro straps. Let me put those on. All right. And then it's got this little front piece here, which you can use to tighten it on. That's not going anywhere. All right, and now for the all toys can test. Obviously, this is smaller than a phone, but you can tell already it's going to fit in there. No problem. And then there's even like extra space back here. Let me show you. Okay, you got like plenty, of, like it goes all the way up to there. There's all this space back here. There's plenty of coverage at the top here. And then this is like a waterproof zipper thingy, so it'll keep water out. And then the color is also pretty sick. This is called the California Gold Color. There's a bunch of different ones, like I mentioned. You should go check those out. Um, find one you like. But yeah, this is a solid bag as well, I would say. It's got these little clips on the side for stuff. And then inside, I'm going to take this out. Inside, what do we got? We got like some mesh pockets in there. We got a mesh pocket up there. We got one side pocket right there. So yeah, that's a good option if you're uh, into the top tube look. Um, I don't. For me, I kind of wonder. I don't know. It's hard to decide. Like they all are nice, honestly. They they are very functional for what they do. It's more just a preference of where you want your bag on your bike. But uh, I kind of I don't want to like have it between my legs. Really, I just want to maybe have something on the front. But let's check out next the final one. This little nifty handlebar bag, and this is so cool and compact. Like. And it's a very hard shell. Like when you squeeze it, it like barely uses its shape at all. So basically, it comes with the bag itself. And then on the bag, you have these different mounting points that you can put the loops through depending on your handlebar size. And then also, I'll mention real quick it's got this little like nifty elastic thingy to put around your stem so that it won't jiggle as much. So yeah, it's also kind of tricky because. I mean, of course you have your brake lines, and I know some cool bikes like really don't show those at all, but most do, so kind of tricky to figure out like where to put this in relation to the brake lines. Um, I guess for now I'll just put them around and see how that works. Okay, I'll probably put these wider though later on to make it not jiggle as much. But you got your little velcro strap thingy on the back here let me put that on just real quick i don't know maybe for now i'll just leave it off but essentially yeah that honestly looks pretty nice just on the front so okay i'm gonna have to work this out with the brake lines and stuff because it's really far away maybe i can just tuck it right in between but essentially it just locks onto the front there with some velcro straps you got a nice big pocket and i definitely have tried this with my phone because this was the first bag that I thought to try out, and it fits in there plenty of room. Let's just try it. Multi-tool, Alpoids phone, standing. Stuff that on in there. There's like tons of room still, guys. Look at that. Yeah, you got plenty of room for things. Probably fit in a tube or so in there. So, yeah. That's honestly just my honest thoughts about these three bags. So, to recap, we got the compact frame bag. That will go on the frame there. We got the top tube bag that sits on top like this. And then oops, and then we got the handlebar bag, the compact one. This one's not the full-size one. They have a full-size one, which is definitely bigger. This is the compact one. So anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below. If you have questions, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thank you, and have a good day. All right, guys. I just want to show you the final setup here. I got my bag on the front I decided to choose. Check this out. It's so small, like it fits on the cockpit really well. Barely upsets the handbars. I just put mine over my brake lines like that. So it just sits on top. And then check this out, guys. Okay, I got an iPhone right here. I'm gonna show you how it fits. You just shove that in there, boom.
fits in there completely. You can close it super easily and then you're done. There's also a little side pocket, which I think is super nice. So you just unzip it, it's like a little circle. And then let's say you got your AirPods or whatever, you just stick them on there, okay? Boom, close that puppy and you're good to go. Yeah, and it barely upsets the frame or anything, like it's just hanging on there and it's super small. You got this little side pocket here for like wrappers of goo or whatever food you got. You put that in there and not forget about it. And then finally, uh, on the front, let's see if you can see. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to see, but if you can see in here, there's like this little pocket for tools. There's like a little mesh pocket separated from the main compartment. There you go, you see the little outline of it. But yeah, basically it's good to go. Okay, final thing. Boom, check that out, baby. This is a blender stem and accessory. I might make a video all about my bike later. But check that out. Look at that. That's so clean. That is clean, boy. Look at that. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If this helped you in any way, feel free to like or subscribe, and I'll see you later.